Hi, this is Mark Cook for Twisted Throttle. If this motorcycle doesn't make you think of getting out on the open highway or taking a backcountry discovery route, maybe you haven't had enough coffee. This is our Honda Africa Twin project bike for this year, completely outfitted for every kind of adventure you might want to try. We start with the new SW Motec Trax Adventure Boxes. Brand new design, double walled, absolutely strong and versatile set of luggage. We've got 45 liters of capacity on the left, 37 on the right to accommodate the Honda's pipe. To add capacity to our Africa Twin, we've fitted a couple of racks on the back side. First of all is the SW Motec Alu Rack, and then we have the SW Motec Seat Rack. This is a pretty cool device that allows you to put luggage across the back of the bike close to the rider, gives it a really solid foundation and some strap loops. You can really tie stuff down tightly, keep it from moving around on the trail. Of course, being out on the trail means you're exposing yourself to rocks and debris and all kinds of harm that could come to the motorcycle, which is why we fitted our Africa Twin with the state-of-the-art protection equipment. Now, that starts with a SW Motec aluminum skid plate comprehensively covers the bottom of the engine, makes sure that all the, the, the parts that you could knock off and, uh, and a nasty trail are protected. The nice thing about this design is it's meant to give you access to the drain plug for easy oil changes. It's also strategically ventilated so that you don't choke the engine of cooling air. Adding to that, we've actually got a, a skid plate extender that bolts in between the legs of the center stand. You wouldn't think this is really necessary, except when you realize that the shock linkage is under there, completely exposed to harm. This uh, extension plate actually protects the shock linkage from any rocks that might get kicked up. Of course, the engine itself needs additional protection. We've got SW Motec crash bars on the side. The SW Motec engine guards are actually bolted to the frame in, in two places each, plus they have a cross bracer across the front. Really ties the whole thing together, makes it a very strong uh, structural piece of the motorcycle, so it can pretty much take a bashing. So additional parts we put on this bike for protection purposes. We have a reservoir guard on the right hand side because that's where the top of your boot is more likely to catch the stock plastic part. You certainly don't want to break that or tear it off the motorcycle. In addition to that, we have RNG tank pads. So these protect the paint, but also give you a little bit more grip to hang on to the motorcycle. Now the dream of the off-road adventure is being able to do it pretty much all day. And a lot of that has to do with ergonomic comfort on a motorcycle. To that end, we've fitted SW Motec adjustable off-road foot pegs. The SW Motec off-road foot pegs allow you to adjust for height. In addition, you can remove the rubber pad, which will give you a lot more traction in muddy conditions. Your boots aren't going to be slipping off the rubber quite as easily. And they're much bigger than the stock items, which are pretty tiny. Other ergonomic updates on the bike, we've added Barkbuster handguards. Now these are good not just for protection because they have an aluminum spine, but the plastic protectors keep your hands out of, out of trouble from rocks. They also keep you warmer in the winter time. And just to make sure that your adventure doesn't have to stop when the sun goes down, we've fitted this bike with a couple of sets of Denali lights. Our favorites are the DMs, the real small ones, great beam of light, really good for being seen in traffic. But the star of the show here is definitely the D4. This is a four LED group set. It's got a pair of spotlights and a pair of really broad lights like fog lights. It's a really nice combination for not only being seen, but be able to see the trail, see the road out ahead of you. So the last bit of lighting we've added to our Africa Twin is the Admore Premium Light Bar. It's a pretty cool device. It has an accelerometer in it so it knows when the bike is decelerating, even if you haven't touched the brakes. And because sometimes being seen isn't good enough, we've added a Denali Song Bomb, which makes sure you're heard. To run all this electrical gear, we've got a PDM60 controller under the seat. It's got six circuits, all digital, no fuses. Really nice solid state device. Keeps everything clean and tidy. The last piece of the puzzle for our Africa Twin is tire selection. Now you could go all over the map with one of these with either street oriented or full on dirt oriented. We chose something in the middle. We have the Mitos E07. It's what we call a 50-50 tire. It's really a good compromise between off-road traction and on-road comfort and quietness. So that's our Honda Africa Twin project bike. We're really happy with this project. It's clearly ready for any kind of adventure. We can outfit your Africa Twin the same way. So visit us at twistedthrottle.com or call one of our gear scouts. We can walk you through the order process, show you exactly what you need. You can set your Africa Twin up for the adventure you've always dreamed of.